Hi, I'm Krista Savori, and I manage the Quantum Architectures and Computation Group, which is part of Station Q, here at Microsoft Research. And I'm Dave Wecker. I head Quantum Engineering, which is concerned with the software, tools, and eventual hardware we're going to build quantum computers out of. I came to Microsoft to see how mathematics and computer science innovation could really reach people in a big way, to really have impact and make a difference in our world through quantum computing. Our area of expertise is quantum computing. Our group writes software for computers that don't exist yet. Quantum computers go beyond the most powerful supercomputer. Quantum computing will be as transformational, if not more so, than the evolution of conventional digital computers over the last 60 years. At Microsoft, we've actually been doing research in quantum computing since the late 90s. In late 2000, Michael Friedman, a topologist and fields medalist, and Microsoft colleagues actually showed that computing with a yet-to-be-discovered quasi-particle might actually lead to a paradigm shift for computation. They called this approach topological quantum computation. And further understanding the potential of this topological quantum computation, Michael Friedman approached one of our senior executives, Craig Mundy, to discuss the company's quantum investment in 2004. After that, Microsoft actually started a dedicated lab called Station Q to focus on quantum computing, ranging in the research from theory to experiment. Just two years later, in 2006, Microsoft Station Q was founded to serve as a center for the study of topological quantum computation. And Quark is actually part of Station Q. And in Quark, we focus on advancing quantum algorithms, designing programming languages and compilers, and determining good error correcting codes for quantum computers. We really look at what do you do with a quantum computer, how do you program it, and then how do you actually execute that program on the device. In 2010, Station Q researchers and collaborators showed theoretically how this elusive quasi-particle that could lead to topological quantum computation might be able to be seen in the lab. And then our research partner, Leo Kauenhoven, who's a professor at Delft, actually built this experiment in his lab in Delft. And he was the first to detect evidence of a Majorana quasi-particle just two years later in April 2012. At Station Q, we're dedicated to harnessing the power of topological qubits, because topological qubits promise to reduce the cost of building a quantum computer. They store information non-locally between two quasi-particles located far apart so that the information corruption cannot occur locally. And the ability to corrupt the information decreases exponentially with the distance between the quasi-particles. It uses nature to protect the information.